Jay and today I'm here with a review for Sock Hill Girls by Claire Legrand. I ended up giving this a 4.5 out of 5 stars so without further ado let us get started. For years young girls have been going missing off of Sock Hill Island. The rumor on the island is that a monster called the Collector actually hunts and then devours these girls because no bodies are ever found. The legend also states that there are three girls who are able to fight and destroy the Collector before he grows too strong as long as they are willing to work together. And this book is basically the story of that. I had an inkling that I was going to really enjoy this book, but I didn't think I would like it as much as I ended up liking it. The atmosphere is just so creepy and right from the very beginning you're immediately immersed into this creepy setting of Salt Hill Island and the legend of the collector and the three girls. I loved the alternating perspectives between the three girls and there's also a couple chapters that are from the island's perspective which I thought was a really cool concept. I really liked the mystery and secrets behind the Mortimer family. I just think their part of the story was really well done. It had me on the edge of my seat the entire time about whether or not people were going to find out what they were and how they were involved with the collector. I personally have a super weak stomach when it comes to like gore and like violence and that kind of thing, but this had the perfect amount of gore and violence, if that makes sense, to the point where I didn't have to put the book down. Sometimes I have to put it down, step away, let my stomach calm down and then I can pick it up. Did not have the problem with this book. The book is heavily focused on grief and loss and I really liked how each of the three girls were dealing with that but in very different ways and they had very different ways of coping with it. I really liked reading about the three girls and how their stories all came together. I also really liked how the book discussed how our society has been raised to basically put girls against each other and how it doesn't need to be that way. We're able to all live together and fight together to boost each other up. You know what I'm saying ladies? Am I right? Yes I'm right. I just really liked how it explored female friendships and it had a very feminist undertone but it wasn't like pushed in your face. It was just so well done. But it wasn't done in a way where it was preachy and I just really liked how the girl on girl hate was dissected and basically just thrown away. I just really liked the whole lesson behind this book about how girls should be trying to empower one another rather than tearing down and destroying each other. I just think it was really well done in a very creative way. I think that the group of characters in this book are probably some of my favorites to date that I've read. They're all just so complex in their own ways but also so relatable at the same time and I also just really liked the diversity of the three girls that were in this book. Although it never stated explicitly what Val identifies as, she has relationships with both a girl and boys so you know my heart is a fluttering for that and I just think that Val's redemption arc in this book is one of my favorite of all time. Zoe is black and identifies as asexual. Marion is plus size and although her sexual orientation is never explicitly stated, she starts a relationship with a girl in this book. The book just explores a lot of different sexual orientations and I think that it's going to be helpful for a lot of teenagers or just people in general who are also questioning their sexuality. The female-female relationship in this book is also another one of my favorite parts of it. I just think that it was really well done and although it starts off a little iffy, I think that it gains a lot of traction as it goes on and I really liked where it ended up. I also want to mention one of the side characters. Zoe's ex-boyfriend Grayson was just such a great addition to this story. He was just so loving towards Zoe and he would do anything for her but I loved how he took more of a backseat to the three girls when defeating the collectors. It was more of a like girl power book. He was still just a super fun character in this book so I wanted to mention that he exists basically. So that was like a super rambly review of this book but I just have so many thoughts and they don't come out of my mouth very well but I loved this book. It was super creepy and atmospheric with the perfect amount of gore and violence and just like super feminist undertones towards the whole book and I was here for it. If you guys are looking for a good creepy book around Halloween time 
this is probably a good bet so definitely check it out if you haven't already which you probably have because everybody read this book already and I'm just late to the party like always so <laughs> yes let me know down below if you guys have read this book or if you plan on reading it because y'all should and I will see you all in my next video goodbye